Welcome back to CNN News 18 exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. When they issued that diktat, that fatwa, it shocked us, and one wondered, would they really do this? Where they will ask people to hand over girls who are above the age of 15 and widows below the age of 45 because they should be the sex khidmatgars or sex slaves of their soldiers. One thought that the Taliban, as many thought, had evolved. The likes of Boris Johnson, the UK administration, many within Europe, many nations believe that the Taliban have evolved. They want to give them legitimacy. The Pakistanis are giving them patronage. They are also giving them medical aid. But the questions to these champions, the likes of Erdogan, the likes of Imran Khan, the likes of Boris Johnson, the likes of many others who are tacitly supporting Taliban or claiming to be champions of the muslim world champions of the cause of islam the simple question is will you want your wives and daughters to be treated thus have a look at this video and then turn around and take a call what should be done to savages like these <laughs> Please watch it again ladies and gentlemen. We're going to play that video again and then we'll break it down to you to show you this is what is happening in the Takhar province in Afghanistan where the Taliban are out to implement this fatwa. <laughs> Have a look at this video ladies and gentlemen there is a young girl a young girl who is grabbed at by a talibani there you go there is the talib the woman is backing away there are other women of the family who are trying to resist but feebly what do they do as this man just goes there and grabs her like some object there you go that woman is crying she's crying he just grabs at her and he lifts her up he's actually trying to pick her up like it's like a sack of grain as an object this is the respect that they are going to give women in afghanistan this is how they're going to treat women in afghanistan and this is the taliban who many are trying to give legitimacy to and look the other way as they run ravage they run they they run berserk like this there is a mother who's holding on to her daughter for dear life but then there are others who come there who are standing there mute watching and then they separate the mother from the daughter and the daughter is whisked away just taken away gone thousands are going to suffer like this thousands have suffered like this under the hands of the al qaeda who are also the benefactors of this taliban they have also been, they have also suffered like this from the yazidis downwards under the hands of the daesh 
these are groups who deserve no mercy these are groups who are savages and they should be treated thus they should not be allowed to treat women folk like this nowhere in the world but this is how the taliban are going to treat the women of afghanistan absolutely shocking do the champions of islam actually endorse this ladies and gentlemen we ask can they look away from this can they allow this on their conscience Sushant Sareen strategic affairs expert is with us tonight Kamar Chima from Pakistan with us strategic and political analyst we also have Qais Muwaffaq senior uh, Afghan journalist with us and Muska Dastagir professor at the American University of Afghanistan will be joining us any moment now but guys my blood is boiling standing here these savages need to be treated taught a lesson and those who are backing them those who are giving them cover fire those who are treating their people in chaman those jokers they also need to be taught a lesson but uh, respect to you and your guests uh, let me uh, say happy uh, to all the muslim of the world from your channel and uh, in this holiday even not you are glad i am sitting here but i was not able to watch again this video as first of all all the world should know this this war is not war of religion holy islam i as a muslim will tell you this any religion of the world will never say such kind of action with any human being even with mans or with women with jinns or with leaves and you know these wild people that even we can we cannot call them muslim we cannot call them human being and even you will not see in a forest such kind of action by the animals as well the video that you people have broadcast but unfortunately that today situation of afghanistan that afghan forces are fighting with the taliban daesh and entire 22 insurgent groups that the name and the list is already have been given by national department of security of afghanistan and even america you uh, uk and some other big countries of the world they have researched and they know that this is 22 insurgent groups fighting in afghanistan that most of them have again i am repeating support of pakistan as a bad neighbor of us here we are inside this proxy war unfortunately this neighbor never wants a powerful afghanistan that we sit relaxly and respect us as a good neighbor we don't have problem with people of pakistan again i am repeating but this isi as a cancer for this regime this army of pakistan at this government whether they even from inside they have hundreds of people they are not united together and many times their own governments have been collapsed and this people of pakistan are still they are suffering from economical mm. and many kind of other issues due to wrong policy of their intelligence their army and government but we are suffering in this region here as well. it is not humanity those countries and the world those big countries far away from this region that they have had the idea that taliban has changed their idea is changed and they will accept the humanity they will respect the freedom of media and democracy and human rights these country should watch this video and they judge whether this is the humanity that we and our people are suffering like this and they are meeting with the taliban they mm -hmm. are inviting them to their country they are defeating them from them they are giving financial support especially pakistan for them they are sending their soldiers to come to boldak to fight with afghan forces whether this is humanity never then we still we are very and at the same time while i am talking with your viewers your guests are hearing me mm. and millions of viewers once again i am repeating we are not center of tourism Hmm. we are not center of this war we are not factory of this all this all is Correct. related 90% to a bad neighbor and cancer of this region hmm. which is pakistan and we are shouting on the world 
since 20 years. We are requesting our neighbors. We are requesting the region countries to please put pressure on this cancer. Do not let them to support. Putting them on gray list is not something sufficient for our pain. Please give a good solution for this all things. We they, are they, they actually, if they are part Kais, of fra frankly, I'm, I'm somebody, I'm somebody who would never talk about extreme punishment. But this lot which is trying to foster these Talibanis, who is trying to prop them up and giving them cover fire, who's using the military might of a democratic nation to give them cover fire and using civil hospitals to give to treat uh, these savages, that nation needs to be taught a lesson. Especially those people who are masterminding this, they need to be taught a lesson. They need to be set out on the streets and they need to be, they need to be hunted just like the Taliban are hunting women. They need to be hunted like that and they need to be taught a lesson so that nobody else will dare to do this and unleash this upon humanity. And how are they getting away with this is a question. Actually, I, you I know, agree It is you. not in my heart I to wish anybody you. greetings on the, on the occasion of Eid al-Adha because on the two days See. of Eid al-Adha, the, the Daesh and the Taliban have only perpetrated brutality. They have bombed a mosque during prayers in Kabul they, they, and, and the Taliban here are doing this. So the Daesh on the one hand and the Taliban openly working with the openly blessed by the Al-Qaeda are doing this. Actually, actually, I never accept to change the names. Daesh is the same Talib, yeah. Talib is the same Daesh. Haqqani Network is Talib, Lashkar Taiba is Talib, Jahish Muhammad They are all Talib. of the same milk. If we, I, name, if, we, if we call many names for them, it's they, they, they are all the same milk and let's just call them all they savages. That's all they are. That's all they are. All, they are terrorists, yes, they are savages sure and they are a burden on humanity sure which they, they need to be removed. And One thing I want to add. Yes. One thing I want to add, so I'm very sorry. This is my message to all around the world, especially for this people that we cannot call them human. Because human will never do such kind of this action with a human. True. And, and, and those who are propping up these... If 100 years more, sure, if 100 years more, this war will go in Afghanistan, they will not win. We will suffer. We will again fight with them. We will stand against them. What we will no, no, never they need to be made to suffer. This is enough. This is enough. Is and I think, I think nations need enough, to stand up and start, fans. start not sure, just, not just sure. empowering the Afghan we forces. Fighting. We don't need we boots on ground. They need yeah, to get, they fighting. need to get the right equipment so that they can push these people and make them run, run roughshod. Inko sadak pe thoda thoda ke maarne ki zarurat hai Sushant Sarin and also those people who have unleashed this. Who have unleashed this? They are unleashing proxy war in this entire region. They need to be. They need to be. There needs to be a serious pest control there, Sushant. I mean, my blood is boiling tonight. I'm so so agitated watching this. Uh, Anand, uh, you know, I I completely understand what you are going through because I I can't see the visuals, but even those screams were like I just wanted to tear the earphones away and just throw them on the side. But frankly speaking, I think it's good that you've showed this video not once but twice. Uh, but I don't think people are going to wake up, unfortunately. Let me give you an example, Anand. You know, all the outrage you are expressing. You have a sister channel called CNN, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the queen bee of CNN held the most obsequious interview of one of the brutes, the Taliban. I call them vermin. I call them swine. There is no other way to describe them. And the only punishment they deserve is death. Uh, which is also a favor being done to them. But, you know, the most obsequious kind of an interview this woman does uh, and doesn't ask, you know, it was such a softball. It was like, you know, some uh, North Korean channel is interviewing the North Korean dictator. Hmm. It was that level of an interview. And these people are not even ashamed. She, she prances about the world like she's some kind of a real, you know, kick-ass uh, television star, news anchor, but just look at that interview. I, it was nauseating to watch it. So, so but CNN is technically a uh, arm of the, you know, that's what it's reputed to be, of the US State Department, the US government, which means that the US government and the British, for example, are trying to normalize the Taliban. They are trying to justify the Taliban. They are trying to find reasons to accept the Taliban and their media is full uh, uh, fully cooperating with them. So, uh, so you and I can outrage as much as we want, but that is what is going to happen. And the Pakistanis are loving it because the Pakistanis are of the same mindset. Hmm. Imran Khan is basically called Taliban Khan for a reason. 
he he uh, his uh, attitude towards women has come out in not one interview but multiple interviews where he talks about women how is his attitude any different from what he might have been a playboy he might have been the biggest debauch but now he is preachy and he has discovered his brand of islam so he wants everybody else to be in parda okay this hmm. man is such a hypocrite that uh, you know this fellow he wants the taliban form of justice in his country his ministers openly prance about asking for hanging 5000 people publicly right so don't expect the pakistanis to move a small finger because they have actually unleashed the taliban on afghanistan Hmm. you think any of the other countries are going to come the chinese are actually telling people that listen we need to back the taliban because they are the people who will bring order to afghanistan there are chinese diplomats who are saying it hmm. they are not saying it publicly they are talking about this in private gatherings hmm. but this is the line they are trying to sell hmm. so you think anybody is going to do anything about it the west the civilized west is going to turn a blind eye at best you know this nonsense of over the horizon operations hmm. no but the, so i i it's really unfortunate no but sushant sushant sir in there they are sitting thousands of miles away okay they are sitting in a different world and they have a different yeah, listen, perception yeah uh, listen uh, sorry anand i disagree hmm. the world is flat yeah. okay today's world is flat if you think you know the americans were thousands of miles away right correct in, in 2001 hmm. what happened hmm. the british are thousands of miles away it is those pakistanis whom the british have pampered whom the british have been you know who they suck up to every day uh, for whom they have changed their laws for whom they turn a blind eye hmm. who misbehave on the streets of britain who have created no go areas uh, and implemented sharia law in britain and the british simply turn a blind eye hmm. so the british for example when they suffered 77 they were thousands of miles away the hmm. french were thousands of miles away from what was Correct. happening in syria so anybody who thinks and listen i completely agree with uh, my afghan colleague on your show and i have been saying this ever since what is the difference between the isis and the taliban please tell me this this video which you are showing right now didn't the isis do this in syria and iraq yeah. right they did it. the the brutality with which the taliban behave and forget these fellows in doha and all these other fellows you know who are coming out who are the interface of the taliban to the rest of the world and you know just like pakistani journalists who speak in english like a gentleman on your show right now hmm. and, and try and present a, a, a you know a, 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 a reasonable face of pakistan uh, it's hmm. the similar thing with the taliban hmm. they present a reasonable face you know on a, a, a cnn interview or some other bloody interview hmm. but inside afghanistan what they are doing the reality is shown hmm. by just and this video is a tip of the iceberg hmm. look we know it we know this has happened hmm. but this True. is what the reality is True. And, now and there is the more the world is going to turn a blind eye and the world is going to suffer no the world should not turn a blind eye especially 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 nations in this region need to equip the afghan forces because they don't have equipment that's the Are problem yaar, apart from india who else is going to do it the, uh, the 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 iranians i doubt if they are likely to do it the iranians the iranians until, until, the iranians the, the iranians when when the until theater the of action shifts towards herat and the azaras come into play the iranians will come into action no, but they are no but the iranians last time also they did nothing they will probably just try but here is more information sir these visuals the if they are talking you here the, here the is what is happening i was saying no, no I, that they are treating the they are looking forward to the, doing business with the taliban the what, central what, asian Well, one second the the fact is pakistan is actually treating afghanistan uh, uh, the taliban taliban cadre at the chaman hospital 25 afghan nationals between the age of 18 to 50 years they are all they are all said to be taliban cadre they are being this list is duly signed by the medical superintendent of the hospital this is how pakistan stands exposed they are not only giving them air cover not only equipping them but they are also treating them in these hospitals so the supply of terrorism is coming from pakistan kamar chima of president ghani mm -hmm. and 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 uh, the first vice president amrullah saleh both stand vindicated and this video do you endorse this this is who these are this is the lot you are backing 
Well, I don't know about this video. I don't know about this video, but I know one thing. Taliban must be punished for their cruel things, like the way they treat women. They must be brought to justice. And I will ask the Indian authorities, since you have opened the back channel talks with Taliban, also request the Taliban. India should also play its part. Not the international community, not just Pakistan. India should play its positive role in bringing peace in Afghanistan and to make Taliban so. So you are okay. You are okay. This if, is what we want. If from India, India finds so the Taliban us? leader and the Taliban heads in Pakistan and we take them out. Listen, you are okay listen, with listen. that. You, you are saying the India, Taliban should be India, taught a lesson. So, if the Taliban are found on Pakistan soil and India decides to take them out, you are okay with it because the Pakistani is clearly India cannot can dare to do this. Aapke, aapke. India can dare to do Nini, this. Pakistani army, the Pakistani if army could carry that. You have chudiya pen rakhi. You have to chudiya pen rakhi. Your air force will cover fire. You can come in. No, no, you just you said that India should take them you, out. You, you India should it. teach the Taliban my a lesson. So I'm saying if I find Mullah Omar on Pakistani soil, are you no, saying here can't. on television that your India is free to take him out? Not dare this. Your Air Force is horrified. No, no. Like so Abhi suddenly what happened? Surgi badal gaya. No, no. Why have you changed your tone now, right now? Kamar Shima. No, why should I request savages? Why should I take them out? You say that you will take out. These savages should be taken out. Should these savages be taken out or not? Kamar Chima. Should they? Should they? Should they? Are Taliban ko maro ya? Taliban ko maro. Taliban ko maro. Itna jigar dikhana hai. Itni hekri dikhani. Taliban ko maro. Can you kill them? Can you take them out? Will you take out Mullah Omar? Will you take out the Taliban? Will you take them out? Will you take them out? Let's work on that. Will you take them out, Kamar Chima? Will you take them out? Can India play? Should they be we taken out or role. not? Should they, be, should they be struck upon and neutralized or not? I am asking you a straightforward question. There are no if your army Pakistan, and your air force cannot do it, are, you tell the Indian no army will do it, sir. You tell the Indian armed we forces will do it. The Taliban, which are being are if your armed India, forces sir, can't do it, you tell the, the Indian armed forces will do it. I am asking, I am just saying this. So are you ready for that? You noted the tone. You need to You noted the change in tone. Fayez Muafak, you noted the change in tone of Kamar Chima. He first says that Taliban Taliban should be taken out, and when I said that okay, we take them out. He won't. Let me let me let me add one thing. Let me add one thing. Let me add one thing to you. Can you just stop supporting TPP? India is supporting TPP. Can you stop? We are talking about Taliban. I am asking you a question. Kamar Chima, you can't answer that. Kais Kais Muafak. Kais go ahead. Mr. Kamar, I am coming to that. See, let me tell one thing to you. Are this Pakistani guys? See. The history, the history clearly know about Afghanistan, Pakistan as a newborn country and everything. You people Afghanis from one side supporting the Taliban, see, no, if not enjoying, let me tell you one thing, from one side you people, from we one side you people have the way you association have taken back your Osama bin Laden killed in your country, from other side with shame you are telling there is no Taliban in Pakistan. The okay. From one side you have Taliban. Let me talk. From one side, no. India see, must not you support are not... TTP. That's what we can do. See, and Indi see and what Afghanistan I'm telling you. Should not host TTP in. in you are prime minister. You are prime minister. India should not is not why TTP hosting Taliban and take back three million Afghan refugees it is work who of are in Taliban. Pakistan who are enjoying a very good life. Afghans are like as if they are in Europe in Pakistan. You so should, should go you back. should know the respect the of how to talk. Let me give you our answer. They should Let allow me answer us your question. Good life Let me Pakistan. answer. Can you do that, my friend? Let me answer. Can Till you, the time you, you are supporting the cancer, you will not be good. Go no, you cannot. Till the time because, you are supporting Taliban, you will not live good. Because Afghanistan is a poverty wrecked Because we know you better. Afghanistan you, is a poverty wrecked country. We know you better. You cannot you know you are are Okay, better. ladies and gentlemen, I'm just pulling away from this, from this, uh, from this, uh, from the, the, the attitude of Kamar Chima is, is very, very evident. What has what has been shown is very very uh, clear. Now the simple question that we are asking is: Do you endorse this? Is this the right? Is this what the champions of Islam say is the right thing to do and the right direction that Afghanistan is going? And this question goes straight across to Imran Khan: That do you back this? Ten thousand jihadis, as alleged by the president of Afghanistan on a multinational forum, multilateral forum, being sent by Pakistan. First Vice President of Afghanistan says, Amrul, Amrullah Saleh says that it is the Pakistani Air Force which is stopping the Afghan forces from neutralizing the Afghans, Taliban there. And 
at the chaman hospital it is the taliban who are getting medical treatment isn't this absolutely shocking before we wind up this broadcast we're going to show you that wind up, show you that video once again ladies and gentlemen <laughs> It's time something is done. These savages cannot be given ground and they cannot be given legitimacy. That's all we have the time for in this edition of The Right Stand.